How's it everyone? Keeping track of the Amex Platinum's credits, benefits, and all of its other features can be quite a hassle. For a lack of a better term, it's just a coupon book that gives you loads of value. And one of those ways is a $200 hotel credit that I'll be going over in this video. But on top of that, I'll also be covering the benefits of the Fine Hotel Resort Collection and also the Hotel Collection, so that way you can maximize all of these hotel rewards that come with your Amex Platinum card. Amex claims that the Fine Hotel Resort Program gives you $550 worth of value per stay. Sounds pretty good for a $700 annual fee credit card, right? But let's not get too ahead of ourselves just yet. Yes, I'll be going over how to maximize and take advantage of all of the benefits that the Fine Hotel Resort Program and the Hotel Collection have to offer you later in this video. They can be quite confusing, so I'll be sure to try and cover all of the bases. But before we get to those programs, we're gonna have to talk about the much easier, the much simpler credit to use, which is the annual $200 hotel credit. This credit was a part of the recent overhaul of the Amex Platinum card. It was the same revamp that brought us things like the Equinox credit, the underwhelming entertainment credit, and also that $695 annual fee. Honestly, this $200 hotel credit was probably one of the better benefits and credits that came with this revamp. You'll receive this credit once every calendar year, and of course, if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. But in true credit card fashion, of course there are some limitations to this credit. No, you can't unfortunately just stay at any hotel and trigger that $200 credit. Of course not, because in order to use this credit, you will have to book through the Amex travel portal. And not only on top of that, but you'll also have to stay at a fine hotel resorts hotel or a hotel collection hotel. Keep in mind though, that since you are booking through the Amex travel portal, you will be eligible to receive that five X points on hotel bookings. And this is because the Amex Platinum card does not give you 5X points on hotel bookings made directly with the hotel, unfortunately. I don't know why they didn't do that, but it is quite a bummer. However, this means not only will you get the $200 hotel credit, but you'll also get the 5X multiplier. And on top of that, you'll even learn how to stack the fine hotel resort benefits and the hotel collection benefits. It's a nice little triple threat, but let's hop on over to the Amex travel portal to show you how it's done. So here's the Amex travel portal. And first, of course, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click hotels. Enter in your city or wherever you're going to be staying. Enter in the room and the traveler amount. We're just going to go with Los Angeles. So we're going to click Los Angeles. Go ahead and click the check in dates and also the check out dates. Boom, boom. And click the search button. And here we are. We have the list of hotels. And if you notice, the hotels with the gray box over here are all fine hotel and resort hotels. And as we scroll down with there we go, we're gonna have a blue box, which means that those hotels are part of the hotel collection. And as we continue to scroll, the hotels without any boxes are just regular, regular hotels. And as you can see, Amex likes to filter them by fine hotel resorts at the top, then hotel collection hotels, and then finally the normal hotels last at the bottom. But the first thing I like to do is to head on up to the top and to the left side, because we're gonna to wanna to check off fine hotels and resorts and the hotel collection because these are the hotels we want anyway. If we don't book a fine hotels and resorts or hotel collection hotel, we will not trigger that $200 hotel credit. And of course, we're not gonna get those benefits with those programs either. Yes, you could filter out the hotels more on the left-hand side, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it all as default. But now that we have like a semi narrowed down selection, this is where you can start to choose and select which hotel you actually want to stay at. Be sure to keep track of the location of the hotel and make sure that it is where you want to stay at. You can click this map button on the top left to go ahead and see the same list, but in this like map top down view. And as you scroll around, you can go ahead and zoom in and also hit show more results. And I guess that scrolled us back out. But basically you can narrow down your hotels from this view, which personally I don't like using. So let's go back to that list view earlier. Now the fun part, you can just go ahead and finally narrow down which hotel you want to stay at. Be aware though, that as you're scrolling through here, you can see that some hotels have special offers listed right here, kind of in like the pricing section. So be aware of that because it may kind of skew your decision and you may want to lean towards a hotel that has a special offer. So we chose a hotel and from here you get a nice little pictures they could go ahead and cycle through. You have the overview, they could go ahead and cycle through, see the amenities and whatnot. But once you've made your decision, and let's say that this is the hotel we're gonna to wanna to stay at, you go ahead to the rooms category, and then you choose which room you want. For example sake, I'm just gonna click this 
first one right here and you click pay now. You want to enter in all of your information over here. Make sure that all this trip summary is the correct information there. You don't want to book it for the wrong place or the wrong dates. That would be tragic. And make sure that if you do have a loyalty number at that hotel, go ahead and enter that. And if you do have a special request, go ahead and enter it there as well. For example, a special request would be for you guys to go ahead and please click that like button down below. And once you got all that figured out, just go to the bottom and click book my room. And this is how you get that 5x points on that hotel booking, along with using or triggering that $200 annual hotel credit. And there are at least two important things that you wanna do when using this credit, so be sure to remember it. One, make sure that that hotel is indeed in the fine hotel and resort program, or the hotel collection program. And number two, you wanna make sure that you prepay or you pay now. You don't wanna choose the option to pay at the hotel or else you won't get the 5X points and you won't trigger that hotel credit. Soon after the charge post to your credit card, you should see that $200 credit hit your account. It should take just a few days after that charge actually posts, but apparently it could take up to 90 days. And honestly, it hasn't taken 90 days for me, Granted, I only did it one time, but I doubt it'll take 90 days for you too. And since this is an annual credit, it does reset every calendar year, but you could use this credit to book a stay in advance. Let me explain. Let's say it's towards the end of the year, like it's November or December of 2022, and you still haven't used your hotel credit. Instead of trying to rush and book a last minute stay in the last month or two of the year, you could actually use that credit to book a stay in the next year. For example, if it's December 20th of 2022, you could book a stay the same way that I showed you earlier for a hotel the next year in January 2023. And this way it will still trigger that hotel credit that was for 2022. So when 2023 comes around, you will get another $200 annual hotel credit. Now, how do you maximize those fine hotel resort benefits and those hotel collection benefits? Because when you combine them with the $200 annual hotel credit and the 5X points on hotel bookings, then you could get a pretty good deal. I'm going to start with the hotel collection benefits because those are a lot simpler and easier. The hotel collection benefits include a $100 experience credit and a room credit at check-in when available. And in order to qualify for these benefits, you're going to have to book a stay through the Amex Travel Portal or through AmexTravel.com or through Amex Travel via the phone, and you have to stay at least two consecutive nights or longer. If you do that, then you are eligible to use the hotel collection benefits. Again, I think the key thing to remember here is for hotel collection, you have to stay for two consecutive nights in order to trigger those benefits. It can't just be one night and gone. You have to stay two nights consecutively or longer. Now, what about the fine hotel and resort benefits? If you stay just one night at a fine hotel and resort, you'll get the following benefits. Noon check-in when available, room upgrade when available, free breakfast for up to two guests, a $100 experience credit, complimentary Wi-Fi, and a 4 p.m. late checkout. And if the hotel you're staying at isn't too busy, you're very likely to get upgraded and to also get that early check-in. Are all of those things worth the $550 that Amex claims? Probably not. Regarding the experience credit for both the Fine Hotel Resort Program and the hotel collection, it does vary depending on the specific property that you're staying at. It is usually good for things like dining and spa activities on the actual hotel property. When you do check in, the front desk will actually notify you where you could use that credit at. Obviously, most of these benefits you will get if you are part of that hotel's loyalty program. Things like early check-in, late checkout, complimentary Wi-Fi, and free breakfast are normal for elite status benefits at these hotels. This means that if you are in elite status at one of these hotels you're staying at, the fine hotel resort benefits aren't going to be as strong as if you didn't have that elite status there. I think the biggest benefits here are the $100 experience credit because even if you do have elite status, you aren't getting something like that. The cool thing that I mentioned earlier about both the Fine Hotel Resort Program and the Hotel Collection benefits are that you could use them multiple times throughout the year. This means if you're going to be staying at somewhere where there are a lot of, let's say, Fine Hotel Resort Program hotels in like a small area, like for example, the Las Vegas Strip, theoretically you're staying there for five nights, you could book one night at five different Fine Hotel Resort Program hotels and get 
five different fine hotel resort benefits. That means you're gonna get, you know, $500 worth of experience credits, early check-in, hopefully late checkout, hopefully room upgrades, and so on and so on. Five different times, <laughs> that's crazy. And of course, since you're staying at five different hotels, you're gonna have to check in and check out every single one of them. So maybe it's not worth it for you. It could be a little bit cumbersome. But if you're like a really travel addict and you want to maximize all those benefits and credits, then it is a possibility. Everything so far seems kind of fine and dandy, but there has to be something wrong with it, right? Like there has to be some sort of catch or con with these benefits. And yes, as a matter of fact, there is. One of the main disadvantages of booking a fine hotel resort program property or a hotel collection property through the Amex travel portal is that it may cost you more through Amex than if you were to go ahead and book directly with that hotel or with like another booking agency. Yes, the rates through Amex may be higher than the rates you'll get from other companies like hotels.com or booking.now. That's probably not one, but you know, those other third party sites like that. So in a way, you kind of are paying for those fine hotel resort and hotel collection benefits. The benefits are more valuable for shorter stays because for example, that $100 experience credit is worth a lot more if you're only staying there for one or two nights, as opposed to if you're staying at the hotel for like five nights. That means you're gonna have to spend or stretch out that $100 property credit over five days compared to one or two days. And again, we touched on elite statuses already before, but if you have elite status at that hotel, you may not be wowed or shocked by the fine hotel resort benefits because you're getting those already through the elite loyalty program. Yes, if you don't book through AmexTravel.com, you won't earn those 5X Amex points. But if you have another travel credit card or like a hotel co-branded credit card, then maybe it is more beneficial to book directly through to the hotel. Or again, if you have another travel card like the <coughs> Chase Sapphire, <coughs> preferred or reserve, then you can book directly with a hotel or even with a third party booking agency and still receive earning multipliers. At the end of the day, is the $200 hotel credit worth it? I mean, yes, yes, that's an easy yes. You're already paying the annual fee, so you may as well make use of this credit, especially when you're able to stack on the 5X point multiplier and also a fine hotel resort benefits or the hotel collection benefits with it. But if you already use that $200 annual hotel credit for the year, should you go ahead and book another fine hotel and resort program property stay? Maybe. I would say consider all of your options before you actually pull the trigger. Because in the end, you gotta choose which option is most valuable for you. How much do you value those fine hotel resort benefits and credits, etc.? If you're interested in watching more videos about credit cards, please be sure to check out these videos here or consider subscribing to my channel. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fun rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Shoots!